1963, there were very few electronic music studios in this country. And um, one of the first was started by Merrill Ellis. What was originally called the Electronic Music Center in 1963 was renamed the Center for Experimental Music and Intermedia to reflect the direction that people were taking. It was not an obvious thing at that point that computers would be the way that everybody was making music uh, and everybody was making recordings 10 years later. So he was a very forward-looking composer and had a very firm belief in the evolution, or shall we say the transformation, of the musical art through technology. The things that I see as really exciting that we're able to do here are, first of all, creating a dialogue between artists, technologists, scientists, and between different kinds of arts. SEMI creates a community where we can make people feel welcome and make people feel like they can develop whatever it is they uh, need artistically and technologically. Another thing that we can do here that is really hard to do in general is to provide a uh, performance environment for what people are working on, no matter how strange, no matter how technologically intense. Because we have this wonderful gift of our very own intermediate theater, where we can put on concerts at the drop of a hat using technologies that are often really hard to put together in one space. When you take it all together, it becomes a real uh, kind of hothouse environment where we can nurture and grow new generations of artistic directions. This is just an amazing variety of what's going on, and uh, the students all, uh, you know, inspire each other and inspire us on the faculty with the new ideas that they're bringing forward, and hopefully we inspire them as well. <laughs>